Hi everyone. So today we're going to be reviewing this Quattro 48 volt 10,000 VA inverter. I mean, the first thing I'd say is um, putting it on the wall was was easy. Really, you get like a bracket, so it's easy to install. And the hardest thing is lifting it up onto the wall. Um, you've got to leave obviously some space around it for um, ventilation and things. Um, but that was really quite uh, an easy job to do. The instructions are really easy as well. They make sense, not like some of these things you buy. You don't want to be messing around with interpretation. You want to understand exactly what you're doing. It's a really expensive bit of kit, so you don't want to be messing about or get it wrong for safety reasons. The installation instructions, they tell you actually what fuse that you can use or ampage of the fuse. Um, they also say about um, wire sizing, if it's um, just um, half a metre from from your batteries to you can get away with like a 50 mil cable if we were just going over half a meter we'd need like a 95 mil um, cable so uh, that's what we've uh, that's what we put on here we're only just over but because we don't know what we're doing we just play it safe with everything so um, yeah I was really happy with the instructions you follow them and it's so simple and and that touch screen thing up there is so cool and you can program this to work with the um, Victron app to uh, so you can switch it off from indoors basically so if you want to turn this off or work on certain parameters you can set it in the firmware that you want to be able to do that go on line and, and, and fiddle with it so if you wanted to move the amperage that your generator can give this you can actually do that from there we set the parameter not to because we don't want to mess do something by accident and we want to keep it set at 20 amps but the options are there so it's really cool we've, we've done a thing on firmware we've done a, a video on firmware which will, might come in useful to someone so um, if you know anyone that's going to do this it might be a, a shortcut to find out how to do it hopefully yeah so the build quality uh, absolutely looks fantastic on this it's um it's like an aluminium I think most of it and then there's lots of stainless steel it's, so it's a lot of this is like marine grade stuff it's usually for for uh, you know for the for boats and things like that that's a lot of this stuff um, it's got you know this rocker switch on and off but there's a touch screen thing that we bought that goes on the Serbo GX and you can switch this off using that but yeah it's it's um, such a well-built thing you know it's uh, really well thought out you can actually have six of these in parallel so you can this is 10,000 watts this produces constantly so this will be um, can produce 10,000 watts constantly and then 20,000 watts in a surge scenario so it would jump up to that um, for, for an amount of time to cover it but to have six of these you can have 60,000 watts constantly being used so you know we don't plan to run the village so uh, but if you ever wanted to have more that options there and um, you can also have a free phase have more of them and run them in free phase um, it's uh, it's got really you know good um, options with it it's just, you know, it's just really really cool I mean the main difference between this and uh, a multi as far as I can see uh, the difference that is between a multi and a quattro is that the Quattro has uh, two AC inputs so you can either have two generators or a shore side say grid panel going to one uh, and uh, a generator to the other and it's useful I mean we just want we we chose this because of options really it is slightly more expensive but we didn't know where we were going to be in the future so you don't know whether you might have you know petrol might be really cheap or diesel could be cheap or it'll be something entirely different a like gas you know some sort of gas you never know we might not get enough from the, our solar in the future we might have a solar panel taxed in the past we've had some strange taxes we actually had a window tax uh, you just don't know which way uh, and we like options if things don't work out well with this we can try this um, so that's that's the reason why we went. We just don't know where you're going to be in ten years' time with it. And as we're off grid, we we just like to hedge your bets on everything, really. I mean, 
This is brilliant, but it doesn't work unless you've got all the other things. It's no good without an MPPT. It's no good without a generator to charge the batteries. The way it communicates with the other stuff is what makes it so cool. So, I mean, I would go, I'm, I'm lucky because I've been able to get all this in, in one hit. We sold our, we sold our, our, our bungalow and, and did this. So we managed to, we, we put both feet well in and, and, and went for it. Um, but I would basically save up and get bit by bit of this sort of thing because it works so, so cool. I mean, I've had no trouble with it. The batteries are my only question and they're not, not Victron. You've got um, battery uh, negative, battery positive. You've got AC in one, which I'll be using from a generator. And actually an AC in two, uh, where you can have another generator, uh, in our case, because we're off grid, um, on there. I haven't got another generator yet. Um, and you've got two AC outs, and we'll be using AC out one. AC out two was for um, like things like a boiler, so you can go in AC out two apparently, and have things like that run off of mains power. So if you're on the grid or on a large generator, it can heat up a boiler, so it doesn't take all the power from your batteries. So that's the real thing I think when I was in the instructions for AC out two. So it's really AC out one is what we'll be using. Um, AC out two is for things that are really high consumers of electric. You know, if you wanted to um, uh, heat a immersion boiler, you can do that off of AC out two on mains from say the um, the grid. So there's lots of relays and different sensors which I'm not even going to get into because I'm not sure what I'm doing with that, and I haven't read enough about it. Trickle charge. I think that was something that is on usually is on um, 24 volts and 12 volts I don't think it comes on the 48 volt ones uh, so that's why there's a gap missing there perhaps so yeah there's, there's, I mean there's two hookups for two batteries we're only going to be using um, one because it, our, our hookup all our combined batteries are actually coming from our um, Lynx distributor which is our power in which has been changed to a Lynx distributor we've just added some nuts and bolts so um, all our batteries are going to be going to this one so um, and then it comes through and MPPTs go to this one so. if you found this video helpful like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you again soon